Hey there, Middle Earth Strategy Battle Gamers. We're here with our new inductee. He's not new, but... He's not new, <laughs> yeah, he's not new. Yeah. He's, he's been in a battle, but you haven't really seen him. He, uh, he's one of our champs. Uh, he went to uh, Nova, of course, and he was yeah. able to do well. Um, he versus Jubian Show guys, so he's, yeah. he's top notch. Top, top notch. So, <laughs> so basically today, uh, we're doing a scenario. Uh, we're mm -hmm. going to do a special scenario that we're going to do Dan's Gondor versus my Isengard and his Mordor. And uh, basically, we're trying to take this realm. It's not probably Minas Tirith. It's like a it's Gondor. It's like an outpost. Or it's like something. a Gondor cell. It's like a Gondor outpost. So, so we're trying to take this outpost because they got some, some good stuff we want. They got a it's bucket. Aragorn. Yeah, 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 Aragorn. Arwen, you know. <laughs> we want Anderol. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine Sauron with Anderol? Would they model for him? Well, he doesn't know. Do no, that, but that. Maybe, maybe Gothmog with Anderol. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back after we get uh, the tail set up. All oh, right, so guys. Go. So uh, we're wait. back with the um, the uh, deployment and the we're gonna explain the scenario. It's a very interesting scenario that uh, we're playing. So, all right. So here's the board. Okay, it's like a Gondor city, some sort of outer city, and pretty much I'm defending with. Okay, it's a fourteen hundred point game. No, fourteen thousand. Yeah, two hundred. Fourteen hundred. Yeah, fourteen hundred. <laughs> My bad. And I am deploying half of my force, a defensive force, or a vanguard, I should say, right here on the center of the, in the in front of the castle on these tiles. Okay, and I'm deploying the other half in the castle to defend. Okay, so we're, this is going to be a turn-based uh, thing. So if I have to defend these two tiles for what five tur turns? Five turns. I have to defend this for five turns, and I get like four victory points. Uh, if they take the tiles, they get four. Yep, two each. Two each. Okay. After the fourth turn, we are going to take the remainder of my force and deploy it all in here. And uh, by the end of the, what, the, another four turns? Uh, I think that's twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent. By the end of twenty-five percent, if they have the castle, they get. Two per tower. Two per tower. And or then they the get. Courtyard. Yes, the courtyard right there. And they get an additional two, for two points for killing Aragorn because he is the king of men. So here's my initial vanguard. This is like around 700. I just took, took it and kind of tried to divide it in half. Boromir, he's leading three Oskiliath veterans upgraded with shields. Three Oskiliath veterans upgraded with shields and spears. One Minister Knight. Upgrade, I think I have to upgrade him with a shield. Um, Baragond uh, leading 10 Citadel Guard with bows, long bows. And Fairmer, uh, he is upgraded with heavy armor and a shield. And he is leading 5 Minister of Warriors and 5 Thun Guard upgrade with shields. For my defensive force, I'm taking two bolt throwers. Uh, upgraded with captains, and I think we gave them swift reload. Yes. And Aragorn, leading six Minister of Warriors, upgraded with shields. Six Fountain Guards, upgraded with shields. And Baragon, leading a lone Benabar. So that is the Gondor contingent to defend their lands. And I'll be back with our my opponent's uh, list. All right, so we're here with Derek's uh, force. All right, so I've brought a cave drake as an independent hero. Mm -hmm. I have he's my I guess my contingent the general. Okay. I have the troll chieftain, leading a mix of Moranian orcs and basic orcs. Next, I have uh, Gorbag proxy, leading again a mix of Moranians. Average orcs and the black new so black new just, just regular core yeah. bag. All right. Yep, yeah, exactly core bag. And then this is uh, I have a wraith, but it's actually Kardish, the fire caller, uh -huh. leading a bunch of orc trackers and some generic, you know, motley crew. All right. Well, that is the Mordor faction, and we'll be back with the Isengard. Okay. Alrighty, we're here with Isengard. All right, guys. So what I got is I got Saruman. Leading 12 Berserkers, or sorry, 11, with Grima Wormtongue. I got Braskill with 8 Crossbow Urukai. Mm -hmm. 
Then I have a shaman by himself. And then I have Mahur leading a small little 12 man warband of marauders. They're all great to be marauders. All right, so we'll be back with the deployment. You can kind of see the overall scope of the scenario. So here's the board. It's a bigger board than normal. Six by four. Yep. And we'll be back. All right, guys. So we forgot to go over some of this in the uh, introduction. So these uh, can, these uh, buildings right here um, are going to be defense six through wounds, and these smaller ones are going to be defense five through wounds. So we have a couple of those buildings set up. And uh, this is my vanguard force. We didn't uh, go with normal warband, so you don't have to be within six inches of the captain general. So um, that that is my vanguard deployment. And then we did modify the ballista profile a little bit and get a thirty inch range. I deployed extra half. Foot. Yeah, I deployed my two bolt throwers on either end of that. Deployed my Aragorn warband right there, and Aragorn on top of his castle. Here, he's getting ready to do it. We did say on a one up, he can mount his horse. So, um, so that is my deployment for the Gondor. And we shall be back with the evil deployment. Alright, guys, so uh, this is actually the two objective markers that we need to capture and able to move on. And then me and Derek, we deployed our army pretty much just close as we can. Yeah, close, close. We just said six inches from the center. And uh, that's our army right there. So we'll probably be back after the first turn. Just anything that productive happens, we'll, we'll go and cover it. <laughs> Alright, guys, we just got done with the first turn. So uh, Rasku and four crossbows shot into this barricade, did not hit any of the guys inside. Instead, they wounded the barricade. They did two wounds to it out of three. Out of three. So that's one wound left. And then pretty much the rest of our army marched up. And then was it this group of guys? Yeah. They shot and killed a dark Numenorian that was standing there. The holy casual. Yeah. So. And they, you guys wounded uh, Baragon. So if you guys want to roll for a priority. Okay. Okay. Evil rolls a four. four. So I need a four to draw. I really need. I like this one. I don't need it, but I would like it. No. Well, not today. All right. Not today. All right. All right. We'll be back. All right, guys. We're filming this highlight real quick. Chieftain had to roll three threes. He had to roll threes. Nothing more, nothing less. To destroy that barrier. And he rolled two twos and a one. <laughs> He's going to have to go back to captain school. All right, guys. You had another uh, kind of abysmal turn for good. He was able to shoot with that uh, ballista, and he's killed uh, six of Derek's. He took Saruman off his horse, and we've done one casualty to the Gondor. To Gondor. So now, Boromir uh, did take four wounds. Yeah, so Boromir took four wounds to the Drake. Um, the Saruman transfixed Boromir, and uh, I used too much to do a strike, hoping to at least tie the fight, and sadly I did not. And over here, uh, once again, the troll chieftain. Um, <laughs> Struggled. Couldn't, yeah, he couldn't do it, so he had to Struggle. use one might and Brand finish himself. off that fence. And then, um, someone else might have gotten more of them. Remember, I don't think someone else. Oh, we botched another uh, we botched combat. Yeah, all these guys the over here couldn't hit the, the combat to destroy that fence. We couldn't. So that, that's what it was. So <laughs> this is turned out to be an interesting game so far. And we are on turn uh, four. four now. So we, he careful. has pulled out two more turns. Yeah. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're rolling for priority. Okay, Derek sets the bar at four. Four, so you guys oh. take it. Yep. All right, guys, we just got done with the uh, combats. That was a uh, pretty rough turn for us. Uh, Another Dan, one. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> so over here, Dan killed, I think, every guy. He won every combat killed. He, he actually most. even won combat against the Troll Chieftain, but did not wound. But over here is where it gets crazy. He rolled, like, what, four sixes almost in a row. Like, it, was, it was a ridiculous amount. He killed every guy in combat. Um, and then the Baragon up here got one of his rolled combat. Rolled a six. He rolled a six. And, and killed the guy on a five. <laughs> and then over here, it was a little bit of the same. We would, uh, I think, not as many guys died over here. but uh, No one died. No one died, but we still lost all the combat. And the, yeah. 
Drake, yeah, Drake, Drake, Drake took away. Drake took away. And we um, finally destroyed the barriers. But yeah. uh, we had a team up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, guys, this is the fifth uh, fifth turn, so we gotta make it work this turn, or else the uh, forces of evil might have to route. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. They're gonna go in the history. All right, books, guys, we just got done with the game. Gondor prevailed. I swear, dude, they made how, how many like, sixes? Did I actually, you I actually gave them my dice to roll, and they rolled once. So <laughs> it's the homeland. It is the homeland that is the channel of the dice. Field advantage. Like he killed, he killed like three berserkers and. Two scouts that turn, like I said. I, most of my casualties came in like the last two turns. And those are all barracks. Oh, order just. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Including with Fury. Uh, so, yeah, basically, how we. The game ended because we cannot take this center like, village by turn five. And basically, what happened is they won because Eric won was on this objective. An orc tracker that was here, he got killed in a counter shot. Shot and shot and. Deep horse to. Yeah, killed, horse killed him. Yeah. Killed his horse. And then over here we have a tie. We both have nine models. So Gondor wins, but very close game. Yeah. Ultimately what happened is his Ballista and his kind of big might heroes were able to hold. I'd say better yet. His positioning yeah. of the uh, defenses. Yeah, he put these, he got these defenses in. So he played them well. Well he was having like a shield wall with support when over here I had no support. And those guys were higher defense. Bottleneck as well. And then over here, same story pretty much. So it was a little fun game we had. Derek's, we're going to be gaming with Derek a lot more. Uh, so hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Happy Wargaming.